do some volume conversions. And let's convert 2,670 milliliters to liters. The conversion between milliliters and liters is as follows. There's a thousand milliliters in one liter. That's the equation. Now the two conversion factors that can come out of this are a thousand milliliters divided by one liter or a thousand milliliters per one liter or we could write in one liter there's a thousand milliliters or that would be read one liter per thousand milliliters and the idea here is that there's a thousand small items a milliliter is much smaller than a liter. It's a thousand times smaller. If it's a thousand times smaller, we need a thousand little ones to make up the larger one. So in converting 2,670 milliliters to liters, I'm going to use dimensional analysis. Now, which one of these conversion factors am I going to use? I approach it from the point of view that I'm going to write the, the unit that I'm given in the denominator. I'm given the unit of milliliters. So I write that unit in the denominator so I can make sure I cancel that out. Now, do I have a conversion factor that will get me from milliliters to liters in one step? Yes, and it's this one here. So I write the thousand in the denominator and one liter in the numerator. Math on the units is done. So math on the numbers is 2,670 divided by 1,000, which is 2.67. 2.67 liters. Let's try another one. If I were to convert 0.00712 milliliters to liters, put it from dimensional analysis again. So, oops, point. Zero zero seven one two milliliters times the conversion factor. I'm going to use the same one, but I'm just going to go through the explanation. Milliliters in the denominator that cancels out immediately. And I know is a thousand milliliters. Got to get the number straight. A thousand in, in the denominator to one liter. So units on math on the units is done. Math on the numbers is 0 0.00712 divided by a thousand. So that's 0 0.00000712 liters. You might be concerned that this is such a small number, but remember we're converting milliliters to liters. So we're going to end up getting a smaller number than what we started with. Converting this to scientific notation, this would be 7.12 times 10 to the negative or positive here. What do you think? Negative or positive exponent? Well, if I'm pulling out 7.12 from this small number, I need to compensate for the fact that I made this small number, 7.12, by making sure I multiply it by a negative exponent. 
So if the decimal place was here, I'm you know, moving one. One, two, three, four, five, six places. So it's me negative six. Seven point one two times ten to negative six liters. And that should feel okay. Because this this right here is a small number. Let's try one more. So now let's convert liters to milliliters. So if we have 372 milliliters and we want to convert that to liters. Well, I use the same conversion factors that I just wrote before. I'll write them down again. There was a thousand milliliters for every one liter. Also in one liter there's a thousand milliliters. So this we know are the two one-step conversion factors that will get us from milliliters to liters. Now the question is which one of these do we use? Well 372 milliliters I'm going to immediately write milliliters in the denominator. Well, if I do that, I see milliliters will cancel out. But that points me to this conversion factor here, that the thousand milliliters is in the denominator. So I write the thousand in the denominator here. I write the one liter in the numerator. So math on the units is done, and now math on the numbers is 372 divided by 1,000, which is 0.372 liters. Again, this number has to feel okay with you, too. I just did this. So now let's convert liters. Let's convert liters to milliliters. And let's remind ourselves the two conversion factors I wrote down before. If there's a thousand milliliters in one liter, and also we can write it as one liter for every thousand milliliters. And the problem now is, let's convert 372 liters to milliliters. So write 372 down as the starting point. And I immediately write liters in the denominator to make sure my units of liters will cancel out. Now, which one of these conversion factors are we going to use? Because liters is in the denominator, I'm going to immediately, your eye should go to this one here. Because liters is in the denominator. So I write one liter and a thousand milliliters in the numerator. Math on the units is done, and now math on the numbers is 372 times a thousand, which is 372,000 milliliters. Now this number should feel okay with you might be a bit large, but you have to sense that, that there's a lot of, there's more milliliters in a particular amount 
then there are liters in a particular amount. So I have 372 liters, so I should have a lot more milliliters in that particular quantity. Converting this large number to scientific notation now, 3.72 times let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 10 to the 5th. milliliters. And let's try another one. Let's convert point zero 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 six six two liters to milliliters. Using dimensional analysis, I write what I'm given down first, 0 0.00662 liters. Then I multiply that by my one-step conversion factor. Again, immediately I like to write the unit that I start with in the denominator. I'm starting with liters, I write that unit here, so that cancels out immediately. And now which conversion factor am I going to use? The same one. So it's a thousand milliliters over one liter. Math on the units is done, and now math on the numbers is a thousand times point zero 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 six six two, which in this case is point six six two milliliters.